Good morning. It is time to skip the BS. It's time for Undisputed. It's time to talk about a podcast called The Edge that all too often sends me over the edge. It's time to talk to Michael Irvin and Keyshawn Johnson about more controversial podcast comments made by Micah Parsons, who reacted to Jerry Jones' declaration that the Cowboys will go all in this offseason by saying this, and I quote, yeah, they're talking about how we're going all in this year. Man, that's what I would hope for. I'm 24 years old. I've been in this league three years, and I've kind of seen it all. I hope we go all in. I hope that we go out and get the players that we're missing because we didn't do that this year. I hope that we challenge ourselves to become better and become greater for us. Okay, I don't love all of that, but I'm going to start with my man, Michael Irvin, who wasn't here the last couple of days as we talked about the Jerry Jones quotes. But Michael, how do you interpret what Micah said on his podcast. Well, some I concur with, and then and then some things yeah. I, I, I just have to try to discern. But some things I do concur with. Like, like there have been opportunities, and we've come out here t- plenty of times, and we talked about it. There are players out there that could probably help the Dallas Cowboys. We talk about how they can help the Dallas Cowboys, and ultimately Jerry doesn't, he, he talks about maybe going to look into these players, but he doesn't yeah. go and do it. And, and, and just getting sometimes a player that you know is in an area of need can lift your team and say, in the whole building, now you see everybody's all in. They haven't done that in a long time in Dallas. They haven't went out, got out of May, got a, a, a real game changer of a player. Are you trying to like trade Cooks. deadline? Or, yeah, or, at trade yeah, like, deadline. Yeah, okay. And that's what he's talking about, at the trade deadline. Yeah, okay, we, we've seen enough now to know what you're missing. Let's go and try to fill a piece, find, find, a, fill, find a hole and fill a hole. Get a piece that'll make a difference on our football team. You could have got anybody to help our run game this year. That, that's a hole that the Cowboys need. You can find anybody to help stop them. Just, just, just at least inquire about it. And, and, and he's right in that sense. Now, I, I like what Michael Parsons also said when he talked about he was embarrassed. He was embarrassed. Yep. He, he didn't want to be out. He didn't want to come out. He didn't want to be he around. He didn't want to go out in public. After yeah. seeing that, yeah. and I, I like hearing that. I, I think we got one player, maybe two players like that on defense. Maybe Michael Parks, Trayvon Diggs, but I need all 11 of those jokers to be this way. I need every player to be embarrassed when you put that kind of thing on, on, on display in this kind of situation. I honestly hate that we're talking about it. My scars and pain is still, you know, I'm, I'm still in the midst of them. It's so much gloom in Dallas I, right I now. I was looking forward to getting back here. Yeah. The gloom is just it's overtaking me in Dallas, so I'm still not over it. But I hope Michael Parsons understands this. And here's how this is going to come back at him that he probably is not thinking about. We were just up here talking about the kind of number Michael Parsons will be looking at because Nick Bosa just signed for $34 million a year, $33.333, whatever, million dollars a year. Michael Parsons is going to be looking to move past that number. And yeah. people are going to say, now, remember, you said all in. Yeah. Where is that home exactly. court discount? Yeah. Discount? I'm just yeah, saying. Please. I know you. I see how you look at it, Key. I know you ain't never believed in that like No, that. I'm going to give you the discount. I'll give you the discount on my second veteran re-up deal. Not well, on my first. Well, I'm just saying. No, you I'm get the second saying. discount on the You get the discount on the second re-up. I guarantee this comes back up again. No, it probably will. Because, probably he, right. because he mentioned all in and everybody's going to talk about going all in. Yeah. I hope Jerry does that, though, and I do agree. I hope Jerry does. I... If somebody's out there to go help that run game, well, you, you knew you needed some help in the run game last year. You could have made some kind of move, any kind of move, indication saying this is what we're going to try to go through. I hope he does it this offseason. I hope he goes looking to a Derrick Henry to say, come on, let's try to put some more fire or put another hammer back in this offense. I, go, I hope he goes and look at a, a, a Mike Evans. Since I'm not moving offensively, I stayed packed with my offensive coaches then I'm going to get me an extra player that can do something no matter what the situation is. And Micah Evans has had success no matter what quarterback is with him. That's what all in is for me. Mm. What is all in, what Jerry was saying? 
is all in going to get other players or is all in paying the players that you have? And that's the all in he was talking about. Right? Is that uh, is, it, is it paying Dak Prescott? Yeah. Is it paying C.D. Lamb? Lamb? Is it paying Micah Parsons and whoever else might be up on smaller type deals? Is that what he means all in? Or does he mean what Michael is talking about, Skip, which is we have the opportunity before the trade deadline, at the trade deadline, and even after the trade deadline to find some acquisitions that's on the streets that could potentially come and help us out. Earlier in the year, we kept talking about they need another receiver other than CD, other than CD, others. They brought in Matavius Bryant. We was like, okay, that may, but he never played. Never played. Never played. Never played. Never we were talking about they need a big back, they need a big back or trade a guy. They never acquired, they never did any of that. Oh, they need maybe a safety. Ah, they didn't need one because the Eagles got one. So we figured, okay, well, maybe they could find one. Oh, they need a linebacker, they need a linebacker. They kicked the doors open on the linebacker, but then he went to Philadelphia. Maybe that's what Michael Parsons is talking about. Mm. I'm okay with him saying that. There's no question about it. If he's there and he's looking and seeing there's certain things that's missing that could potentially help the team out, I'm okay with that. Mm. But now here comes the flip side, similar to what Michael is talking about. People are going to look at that big number. Not, not take a discount as far as a big number goes, because I don't want him taking a discount. I want him to get as much money as he can. Take a discount seven years from now. Not right now. Okay. Okay, because on your first deal at $17 million for four years, it's a lot of money. But that, for an athlete, isn't life-changing mm -mm. the way the second right. deal is. Right. No doubt. So right. when you get the right. second deal and the life-changing money, yep. now you can... You know, okay, I, I give you a hometown discount. Key, okay, that's you up here talking because you have been in it. But those out there looking and hearing it, they, they don't know I that. Don't well, that's why and, I said what I said. For yeah, an athlete, yeah, trying to help it's them, not but... life-changing, okay? It's not. Right. Because there's be taxes. Be if you really invested it. Well, I'm going to give you the real. But I'm, but I'm, right, but I'm right. giving you the young, yeah. real it, 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 perspective it, 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 right. on that number. Yeah. You got to cut it in half. You got to give your agent his yeah. money, your PR right. person. Da, da, da. And, so and your you family that has been waiting on yes. you to just mature like a stock. Yeah. You got to give them yeah. theirs. Too. And you would be and lucky, Skip. And skip. you're going to splurge a little. You're going to you, buy man, yourself. Come on, man. Heard, Daddy. You've heard. Come on, man. I live in a two bedroom you apartment. Heard. I live in a two bedroom right. apartment with heard. six people and roaches. That's I'm right. not about right. to sit up here <laughs> and act like $17 million <laughs> is getting ready to change <laughs> my life. I wonder there weren't any roaches out here in LA. <laughs> that was, they always say, I don't know. I don't know about No, they're around. Trust me. Roaches and rats. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm, Mike, what I want to get at. I'm thinking about my first date. I took my wife out on. We were in a Toyota Corolla. The, bo the, the, the bottom of the car was out. Her shoe fell on the highway. What? I turned around. I said, well, I'm going to go get that, baby. I just stick with me now. As soon as I get in the Her lead, we ain't going to have the bottom of the car. We're talking about where we're coming from. Yeah, we're just, yeah I didn't have it. was from? the bottom in the car. I had, had a car like that. I had a mat on mine. I had a mat, I had a mat so over funny. the top of mine. Me too. Yeah, I had a mat And she mine. must have moved it, and the shoe because fell out. I said, oh, God. Because of the metal, obviously, it gets all rusty. He rode it away. He rode it away. Okay. I sure did as a kid. And, and what happened when you got your first <laughs> cowboy deal? Did you buy a car? Me and her a car. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Okay. So, Me thank and you. Her a thank car. so to speak about so, the, to speak about the money, okay, he'll get whatever, yeah, thirty seven million a year average, whatever that number is. People are gonna look at that though and say, Well, wait a minute, man. That's funny. Your postseason success, you one and three, you got one sack in four postseason games. They gonna point to that. They ain't pointing to save, discount, help the Cowboys. Cause Jerry got more money than God. The Cowboys have been one of the best okay. teams at manipulating the they, salary cap. But, but Michael okay. Parson ain't gonna be talking today. He's going to be talking to Jerry. And I have been in those negotiations with Jerry. And Jerry, Nick Bosa's money at 3 to 34, I remember Jerry Rice was the highest paid. And I went and talked with Jerry the same thing. You know what Jerry said to me? He said one time, you know, Nick Bosa, or in this case, Jerry Rice, he has to pay state taxes. Mike, you're going to be the highest payer. In yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's fine. I that's said, fine. Jerry, that sounds real good. Let's stop playing. He's going to try all of that. Oh, you can do He's that. He's not talking to people. But, but Michael Parsons is going to be talking with Jerry that, Jones. That's, that's fine. All but, but, but Michael Parsons also got representatives that, yeah, that, that right. they want to get the most because they're going to get what Correct. they need to get off the and, top, and, too. And they want their brand. They want theirs. So when you look at it, they're going to be looking at the postseason success. Another thing that I did not like about what Micah is saying, you've been in the league three years. 
You have not seen everything. That's what he said. You, I've you seen have it not all? seen it all. No. You've only been in the league three years. When you get the six but, years, seven years, eight years, now you've seen it all. Uh, but, uh, you've seen it all. Uh, three, three years, you ain't seen three it all. Three years as a Dallas Cowboys, like six or seven anyway. See, else. And, and this I is, don't this is why. I don't concur. This is why I, 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 I attack <laughs> you, Michael, and I attack Skip. I because it goes back to well, the brand well. of the Dallas Cowboys yeah. and all the yeast that's put on top I of it. I tell y'all It does well. not work like that. Micah has to just, look, man, he, he, he's got to figure out how to become a major difference maker despite he double teams, agree. despite yeah. chips, despite all of those sort of things. I agree. Because, people, you're the guy. Mm. You are the guy of the team. When you I think the of the guy. Dallas Cowboys and that defense, I think of number 11. I don't think about no damn digs. I think about number 11. I don't think about Lawrence. I think about number 11. You don't even think about Deron Bland. No, I do Setting not. Setting the record for pick no, sixes. No, I do not. I think yep. about number 11. You do. When I watch the Dallas Cowboys I watch defense, 11. I'm looking I'm to see what. I'm, I'm getting focused. ready to see what 11 going to do. Where is 11? Is he going to split the double team? Yep. Is he going to spin move? Is he going to close? Is he on the edge or lined up in the A That's or the That's what BDF? I'm looking for. Okay. And right. that's the reality of it, Skip. So he's got he's to gotta know these things he when does. he's talking like that. Okay. I've gone back and forth lately with Micah, and I, from my really? heart, I, 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 I want to love Micah Parsons. I'm trying hard to love him because he is a gifted young man. Yes. And there are stretches over these three years when I have been literally in awe of how he can impact and terrorize an opponent because he can wreck a game. I've seen it with my own two eyes, but I haven't seen it consistently down the stretch of the last two seasons because he probably doesn't have quite his man body yet and he does get beaten up and worn down. He's still 245-ish pounds instead of 265. And for whatever reason, his sacks and his impacts start to fall off down the stretch. So here's the problem. Against Green Bay, just statistically, he had his worst pass rushing game of his career. I'm just talking about raw numbers. And that's all I have to go on. My eye test told me he did get two early holding calls, and that's big credit to him because he was getting none, but he did force those things to happen. But obviously they were down 27 to nothing before halftime, and you and I are just, like, drowning in it, and, and we don't even like to talk about it because it, it was... Yeah, I'm still not well. It, it, it was beyond incomprehensible that the Dallas Cowboys could lay that big of a playoff egg at home with the two seed against the seven seed with potentially back-to-back -back playoff games, the second one against the Detroit Lions, who we, by hook or crook, had beaten before, and we surely could have beaten them again to get back to our first NFC Championship game in low these 28 years. And that happened. And after that game, Micah Parsons ducked. He did not speak to the media. You and I both talked about going into this season, this was a crucial coming out season when, where he would take the team over on and off the field, where he would become the leader of the team because he's the best player on the team. And he ducks the media after the game. And I did not love that. So he waits a week and then he speaks on his podcast, which obviously is unchallenged. So you're not talking to the reporter. So nobody can cross examine a quote like this where you say, uh, we, we got to get the players that we're missing because we didn't do that this year. And we sit here and say, well, what exactly did you mean? Are you talking about the trade deadline or before the year? Well, here's the hypocritical 2020 hindsight of that. Going into that Green Bay game, you flipped around and you said, I, I think they're going to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, they beat, I don't know what they, they did something. And they, they beat made, Washington at the, the, the Yeah, it looked, the they looked good or something okay. and they got the two seed. Okay, but they but you said, yeah. you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to flip yeah. my script and I'm going to yeah. go, I'm going to go, they're going to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You picked them to go to the Super Bowl before the season. I picked before the season. We're hanging in there. We got our pom-poms out before that game. Did any of the three of us think this was a deeply flawed football team? Because I'll be the first to say I did not. I'm, I'm talking about deep flawed. I, I didn't see deep flaws. I, I, mean, I thought issues. they were pretty good, maybe very good. Yeah. If they could play up they to their flaws. potential. Yeah, yeah they, they, they have flaws. But you didn't they say that. You, you no, said they they're going to the Super Bowl. One of the flaws is they didn't have a big back, a powerful okay. back. All right. right. That was but a but we had hammer. seen little bursts from Tony Pollard, who had a breakout year the year before, but he, he could not come back from what is a career-threatening surgery. Defensively, you kept, trying to, you kept trying to sell me on, what's the, the nose tackle's name? Uh, 
Is it Ma- Mossy? Mossy? Ma- 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 Smith. Ma- Smith. Ma- Smith. You kept trying to tell me he could plug the middle. First round pick. He could plug yeah. the middle. He could plug the middle. Out of Michigan. They yeah. gashed yeah. y'all they all did. year long in they the did. run game. Okay. And, and Aaron Jones did, came back off an injury. He did. And had a field day. Okay. All right. I got it. But, that, but you, you now you're looking back because you got 20-20 hindsight. But going into that game, you picked Dallas to win that game. We I, all picked I Dallas. I absolutely right. picked okay. Dallas. All right. Just for the record. So if you're the team leader, I need you to own the fact you did not play up to your potential in that game, and I don't need to hear this publicly. If you want to say it privately to Jerry or to Mike McCarr, whoever you want to tell you, you, you know, inside, keep it to yourself. But I don't know what good it does to, to put that out in public, except it sounds like you're making an excuse, like, well... I did my best, but we just weren't good enough because Jerry didn't plug the holes, you know, I don't right? Think, I, don't I don't think, think he's that he's saying that at all, Skip. Me I don't neither. think he's making that as an excuse. I don't think he's saying that. He's just saying that we need some help. Other teams went and got help. Right. You, you laugh at me about Chase Young and the San Francisco mm-hmm. 49ers because Washington said goodbye. Chase Young playing on Sunday in the Super Bowl. Well, he yeah. is. Okay. I, I don't know that he's had a whole lot to do with no, that. No, no, he's that, had, that, no, no, that, no, no, that, no, 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 no. I, I, I was just talking he about He has Peter had today. a lot to do. I just talked He has had a lot to do. Maybe not statistically, but being there, attacking, holding guys up so that other guys can get free, okay. harassing the quarterback, being around, Why that goes okay a long way. But it's not okay for Michael. You see what I mean? You what you just mean it's said, not okay for Chase? You just said Michael has to do more than just being there holding people up. But Chase no, no, can no, no, just... No, 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 I did not say I, Michael... I, I, I did it. not say Michael needs you to do said, more by you, holding people you up. You said he needs to do more than just hold people. He needs to get through those double teams. Yes. He needs to make yes. the plays. Yes. But Chase Young... Oh, you, know you know why? You know why? Chase Young doesn't have to make it. You know why? You know why? Because Chase Young is not the leader on that defense Nick Bosa is. Okay. okay, Michael Parsons is the leader on y'all defense. Yes. That's why he needs to yes. do more. Right. Chase Young is a piece. He's just a piece of garnish. And Mike it, Parson is a baby. A baby piece. Mm-hmm. They're okay. still learning. I mean, Michael, he's struck take out the cowboy glasses off. Out. He has, no, 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 take no, no, take no, them no. off, man. These, these are the reality glasses. If you was in that Michael locker Parsons room. Michael Parsons has been all pro all if three you, years. If you were in that locker so, room. So, so he's doing things. He's playing well. He's playing well. I never, I never what he's said saying that. is, I, I, we do want, we need, we need help. When I talk to you about each game is about gathering information. Each oh week, God. you gather that information. You knew what you needed at the trade deadline and what was possibly going to be an issue. How many down years y'all going to keep gathering so information? So you try to feel that. And that's, all I'm doing is explain what Michael Parsons is saying. From the information we gather, we should make moves to go try to get players at the trade deadline and say, let's boost the areas that you need help from the information you gather from the games prior to. That's what he's saying. I don't think Michael Parson is saying, well, I'm not going to play well. Or, or, he, I, 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 I don't think you, he's you saying, saying that either. But I'm just saying, you just said Chase Young is okay. Yeah, Chase, Chase Young Chase don't Young, have to get the quarterback Chase with Michael Young is not. Chase Young is not measured at the same standards. It doesn't matter. His career is being revived right now. Michael Parsons is the face of the Dallas Cowboys defense. Michael, come and on he's now. He's all pro all three years. I, 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 you guys, come on now. Come on, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, yeah, you can't be better than all pro all I'm three not years. Talking do I want about, better? Do I want better uh, uh, playoff numbers? Do I want better playoff uh, uh, wins? Yes. But we're, we're, we're rolling down a wrong road here trying to kill Michael Parsons it's when not, he put us all not, pro all three years. It's not killing him. It's explaining, Skip, about the things that he needs to do. Michael, if you was in that damn locker room and he came out there in four postseason games and gave you one sack and eight tackles in four postseason games, mm-hmm. you, could you only imagine how disgusted you would be driving home on that highway in that convertible Mercedes. Okay, and let me tell you how that sounds. Come on, man. I remember them playing San Francisco, and San Fran only putting up 18, 19 points 19, in one game. Yeah. It does. So, 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 so wait, 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 wait a minute. Ultimately, the bottom line is how many points did they put up, what did the defense do? You want to focus on the sacks and all that stuff and the pressures and all that, you can do that. But the bottom line is 19 points in the NFL should be enough to win any game. And he held San Fran to that. So that's all I'm saying. Y'all got to give him credit for the reality I, of what I, happened. I'm going to leave it alone because I ain't going to never win this conversation with you when well, it comes to the Dallas it's Cowboys. It's a discussion, it, not, a conversation, not, not an argument. It's just a discussion. I didn't say it's, argument. I'm just saying it's just a discussion. I didn't right. say argument. So, Keyshawn, it's a discussion. how much did Kevin Byard and Shaq Leonard help the Philadelphia Eagles defense? 
Not, 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 not any at all. At all. Not, they, not they any were, at all. The they defense, were even worse than we ended up being. They didn't help them mm. at all. They went yeah. and got two guys that they felt could help the defense at the same time they replaced the defensive coordinator. Yep. Okay, they thought that. It did not help them at all whatsoever. Yeah. But that's Philadelphia's defense. It's not Dallas's defense. If you bring new guys in on your defense, maybe it boosts your defense because they're in a different scheme and a different situation where they're not on two defensive coordinators in one year, Skip. Well, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, all right, so, so back to both of your points. At some point, Mike is going to have to put his money where his mouth is because Michael again, don't think so. Okay. Michael Irvin don't think right. so. Okay, but no, I think my, my point is, is the window was much more open this past mm -hmm. season because you had the CD and Mike on these contracts, and you still had Dak on his quote unquote right. old contract. And all of a sudden, Jerry Jones is facing three behemoths coming up. Yeah. Because you got to figure yep. this out, and it's not going to be that easy. It's going to be much harder this offseason yep. to add pieces because you have to make sure about keeping the pieces in place. And they are huge pieces, even though they didn't give you anything in this postseason, right? And that's why the sale is not necessarily money, but opportunity. You know, you, you, you go to the Derrick Henrys or the Mike Evans, and I don't know that they're going to get top dollars, or you yeah. can, you, you, but you can sell opportunity on them, they, to them. They, they'll come in, and they can be a special part of a special team and help this team get over the hump. Okay. That's the opportunity they could enjoy. They can enjoy. <sighs> Keon, Keon, how are you looking at it? Derrick Henry, can you imagine Derrick Henry coming to help the See, Cowboys? See, the, the reason I don't like him. Can you imagine Mike Evans? The reason I don't like him with this, he almost made me cuss, Skip. Why is, why is it making you curse? Because you're sitting there trying to sell the Dallas Cowboys and tell these dudes to take less money. Wait, wait, wait. The Cowboys ain't won a damn Super Bowl in 28 years, Michael. Right. This is not the New England Patriots right. where they can right. take right. pennies yeah, on the that. dollar. Right. Will you stop? Why well, anybody say take pennies on the dollar? But Okay, I call dollar. it pennies on the dollar. You call it top dollar. I call it top pennies top on the dollar because what you're trying to say is join my franchise and my team with hope of getting no. to a Super Bowl. No. With the New England what? Patriots, Skip, they come to you and they say, hey, C-12 over there, yeah, C-55, yep. and 54, mm -hmm. and 24, mm -hmm. come join us. That's correct. Because we're going to go to the Super Bowl. That ain't the same. Well, it ain't the same. I, I, I hear you. No, okay. you hear me. I want you to I, listen. I so, Keyshawn, you're saying Micah shouldn't I'm take 90 cents on the dollar when he negotiates his next Man, he deal? should get every damn penny. Right. It ain't about. It, it, every what, penny. But what I'm talking about is a veteran guy. Who's, who says, I don't want to go over here to this team for $25 million. I'll take $20 million and a chance to win a football win games with the Dallas Cowboys. I'll take $22 million. There's guys out there that would. But I'd rather go to, I'd rather, I, me no. personally, yeah. I'd rather go to San Francisco in the end. I'd rather go to, yeah. what? Yeah, what? Opportunities, I'd rather go to Cincinnati's in the end, Kansas City's in the end. Why, why would I want to go to the Cowboys yeah. and be home? Because you talk about them every day on oh, TV. Michael, we ain't talking about that. Cincinnati Don't all care about year. That. Them so dudes come don't on, care man. about that. They yes, to, they do. Uh, you're trying uh, to win next. a championship. All of them on social media that obviously care about that. I'm trying to win a championship. We've got to talk oh, about the Cowboy the defensive part. coordinator, Dan Quinn. Will he go to Washington as their new head coach? Or will he miss out on yet another big job? Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.